There's a little one. There we go. Yes, we are. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Bell's Expedition Stout. This comes from Bell's Brewery, one of my favorites. Uh, they're out of, uh, I say Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, they're, I had a sub tell me they were somewhere else. Uh, uh, they're pretty close to Kalamazoo. That's what they've got listed on Beer Advocate so, uh, and Rate Beer. So uh, that's what we're going to say it's from. So it's probably from a little town closer to there than it actually is from Kalamazoo. So it's a Russian Imperial Stout coming in at 10.5 ABV. So this is a little more on the potent side. And this uh, this can be cellared too. Uh, it can keep for a while. This is a winter serving. They make this, uh, they brew this for the winter time. So uh, this particular one, according to the batch code on it, which I said on an earlier video, we're going to start putting the, the dates and everything right on the bottle along with the batch code so you ain't got to go get on the internet and find out when it was put in the bottle. This particular one was put in the bottle on September 13th of uh, 2010. So, uh, that's six months, September, October, November, December. Oh, that's a little older than that. It's seven, eight months old. So, uh, it sellers well. So, what I'm told, we're about to find out. The food pairing is, is it's a, it's a Russian Imperial Stout, so that's a, they, they consider that a dessert type beer, a chocolate type beer. Uh, the glass right today, you can use a pint glass, a tumbler, the Stein, the Becker, the Mug, uh, I, the Snifter. I use the Duvel on these type of beers, uh, the Porters and the Stouts and stuff, because uh, I like the way it does the aroma. So let's bust a cap on this puppy, see what we got. Right down the center there. That was like motor oil, guys. <laughs> that was just like motor oil right there. You seen that right down the center, and we got not even a half a finger. It's just barely covering the top of the glass. Uh, just a skim, if you say. Let me get it over here in front of the the magnifying light bulb that I've got over here, and uh, there is no light coming around it. It is pitch black. It is dark, dark, dark. So, no light at all. Looks like motor oil. According to what they say, this is the darkest beer they make. Uh, I did the, uh, the Kalamazoo uh, uh, a while back, and uh, well, it ain't been that long ago, uh, about a week ago. And uh, they said they used double the malt on that, on this beer, than they did from that, and five times the hops of the Kalamazoo. So, I want to be a hoppy beer, what do you think? So, Let's get a nose on see what we got. I'm getting a lot of malt there, but not a tremendous amount of hops. Uh, just a tad of the alcohol, not much. Uh, coffee, not, not a, a strong chocolate smell there, but just a, a faint. But I've got the coffee. Coffee's a little bit more than the chocolate, so without being a beer snob, I keep sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Cheers, guys. Let's see what it's all about. Heard some good stuff about this. And it don't take much on Bell's because uh, they're one of my favorite breweries anyway. They do some good stuff, so cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. The chocolate's there. The coffee's there. Roasted malt, dark fruit, figs, dates. A 
very very nice wow 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 this may ding 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 ring that bell my hair is blowing back wait a minute that is extremely nice wow a little bit of licorice in there wow a lot of roasted malt just enough hops for that much malt for that much alcohol they've got the hops perfect on that wow impressive it could be a 10 here fellas it could be definitely be a 10 guys uh, it's right out of the fridge it's 40 degrees uh, that's ten and a half percent ABV. I'm not getting that at all. Wow, you could drink a couple of these and then be in Sir's trouble. <laughs> uh, that's tasty brew. That is that is damn tasty. I believe we might have a ten here, guys. I'm gonna let it warm up. I'm gonna sip on it. Be right back. Let's see if the thing is a ten. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Wow. You can smell the alcohol a little bit more now, but it's warmed up, of course. I always say that. But, you know, it says 10.5%. If you're expecting to smell something that's 4 or 5%, you're going to be surprised. But, the chocolate, the coffee, the roasted malts, the dark fruit, and like I said, this is a, this could be cellar. This, I mean, when I go back up, I'm probably going to go back up this weekend. If they have some more of this, I'm going to get some and I'm going to sell it. And then we maybe we'll do another review of it in maybe two years or three years and see how much it's changed. It's a very young beer for uh, almost 11% beer. So it will sell over for a long time. So Without me rambling on, it's a, it's, it's a winner. Uh, I don't think it's outstanding yet, but two years from now that beer may be outstanding to me. Because it has matured and it's developed some a better taste. Yeah, I got the alcohol now that it's warmed up. I mean, you can see it in the side of the glass there. But it is good. It was definitely a winner. Final well, tell guys. I think if I would have reviewed that beer, that same bottle, if I would have kept that bottle a year or two and reviewed it for the first time, it would probably get a 10. <clears throat> but being young, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to nine. Uh, I think it. I think it's worthy of picking up another bottle, which I'm gonna try to do when I go back up and we'll re-review this beer. And if I can get more than one, I might be get a couple of them and re-review one. A year from now, two years from now, maybe even get three years from now. Because it's got the, the uh, batch code on the bottle, so, and they're going to start putting the dates on them, so that will be a win-win situation for us and them. So, Guys, without rambling on like I always do, if you've had a beer, let me know what you think of it. If you think it's a winner, let me know. Give me some comments back on this, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. We'll see you then.